he is uh, he has no uh, uh, corruption charges against him and that time taposrai like honest leader veteran leader if quit tmc uh, tmc that will tarnish the image of the party okay if you if you think uh, taposrai is a big catch uh, a big leader uh, quitting tmc not that but taposrai is a good organizer he is very articulate he love to work uh, in the ground level of the party hello and welcome to the indian express This is being seen as a big setback for the ruling Trinamool government in West Bengal but will it really cast its shadow in the upcoming Lok Sabha elections Tapos Roy a veteran TMC leader has uh, quit from the party has resigned and has claimed that he's really uh, not very happy with the way the party is functioning right now Otri uh, if you could tell us about uh, Tapos Roy as a veteran Trinamool leader what is his legacy Actually, Tapos Rai is a uh, basically known as a Chhatra Parishad leader. The uh, in 80s and 90s, in a long time, he was Chhatra Parishad, I uh, mean, state president of Chhatra Parishad, which is a uh, uh, mass organization of Congress, the then Congress. Uh, after that, uh, in 2001, probably he uh, 2000-2001, he quit Congress and joined uh, Trinamool Congress. and uh, tapos rai basically is a known uh, organizer he is very uh, mane he always happy to work uh, as a organization leader from the back stage and he is very gentleman in bengali which is uh, we used to call bodro lok mane he is very mane gentleman he is uh, he has no uh, uh, corruption charges against him so uh, it's mane when tmc every opposition are attacking tmc for their corruption and uh, especially bjp is saying every tmc leader are corrupted and that time tapos rai like honest leader veteran leader if quit tmc uh, tmc that is basically uh, a section of tmc leader thinks that will tarnish the image of the party basically so this uh, resignation comes weeks after ed raided his house right uh, in connection with to the recruitment scheme and he also cited that as a reason for um, for his resignation because the party did not stand up for him so if you could tell us more about that yeah as i am saying that he is a known uh, honest party leader so when uh, ed raided uh, in uh, taposrai's residence uh for the municipal corruption case municipal job recruitment case so uh, not only tmc but uh, many opposition leaders were astonished and they openly gave statement that uh, tapos rai like reader uh, one leader is not corrupted uh, we don't know how ed uh, raided in his house but tapos rai expected at least mamta banerji or uh, obishek banerji will stand by him and give a statement for him but uh, i don't know what is the reason but mamta banerji till date mamta banerji and obishek banerji didn't say uh, a single word uh, on tapos uh, tapos rise mane uh, id id ha mane id raid on uh, tapos rise house and uh, also uh, Mamta Banerjee stand by Sheikh Shahjan, the main accused of Sandesh Kali incident, and uh, uh, gave certificate to Sheikh Shahjan, but didn't say any word uh, uh, to Tapos Rai and uh, ED Raid in the Tapos Rai residence. And Tapos Rai also made mentioned that when he resigned from the MLA ship, uh, when he uh, submitted the resignation letter to uh, Speaker Biman Banerjee, he also mentioned. that i i at least expected senior list leaders of our party will stand beside me and he strongly believe that uh, the behind the veil uh, when ed raided in his house the many t- a section of tmc leaders especially he mentioned shudhi banerji mm-hmm. who is uh, sitting mp from kolkata north and parliamentary leader, uh, leader of tmc he is behind the uh, ed raid in his house 
so that is the main uh, thing in uh, tmc roaming around and uh, that is the main uh, allegation of tapos rai now let's look at the bigger picture o3 how do you think this will affect trinamool congress leading up to the elections will it uh, it will it cause a very serious dent to the party will it uh, uh, bring uh, bring some questions over to to its credibility and how will voters look at this okay if you if you think uh, tapos rai is a big catch uh, a big leader uh, quitting tmc not that but tapos rai is a good organizer he is very articulate he love to work uh, in the ground level of the party that is a uh, that is a money crisis uh, right now in the tmc so uh, that is a setback for the tmc one thing and second thing in the party image hmm. party image which is also a money uh, serious setback for the tmc because uh, 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 right now all the opposition are attacking tmc on the corruption and you know uh, the uh, in the coming lok sabha election the main issue will be corruption in west bengal so at that time tapos rai like leader um, if uh, tapos rai like leader two or three more leaders will quit tmc that will tarnish the party's image basically okay um so o3 what is the road ahead for tapos rai now is is he is it being speculated that he is joining joining uh, bjp yeah it is being spe- speculated that he he will join bjp on uh, 6th of march or 7th of march uh, bjp is saying uh, they will wel- welcome tapos rai like leader leader he is veteran honest uh, he is a good image and uh, tmc also uh, the close leaders of tapos rai uh, the local leaders of tmc who are close to tapos rai they are also saying uh, tapos rai join bjp but now uh, it is a distance between uh, cap and leap so we can't uh, officially say tapos rai will join bjp but there is a strong speculation that he will join bjp and uh will play a big role in coming lok sabha election might be a candidate in uh, some other kolkata and outskirt in some uh, seat so another big setback for trinamool leading up to the elections how many such setbacks can the party take uh, and what is uh, mamata banerjee thinking um Uh, we will get to know about this uh, as time unfolds this is premankur biswas thank you for joining us keep on watching our videos and subscribe to our channel